All right, so lesson 70 is on reducing fractions before multiplying. So my first problem I have, 5 6 times 1 5th. Now, I can just multiply that across if I want and get a, end up with 5 30ths. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to reduce this number when we get to this point. So what I'd rather do is reduce first. Okay, though if I did this, I would reduce it down to 1 6th. Okay, and this is especially helpful when we get to bigger numbers. So if you remember, when we we're dealing with reducing fractions, I can reduce numbers in the numerator and in the denominator if they're the same or if one is a multiple of the other. So in this case, these fives are the same, so I can go ahead and cancel those fives out. The fives become ones. Okay, so I end up with one six times one over one. So one six times one is one six. Okay, so now I have a mixed number, 1 and 1 ninth times 1 and 1 fifth. So I need to change both of these first into improper fractions. So to do that, we do 1 times 9 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So 10 ninths times 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so 6 fifths. Now again, in this case, I can't reduce it because none of these numbers are the same. But I can, there's a common factor between these two numbers and a common factor between these two numbers. So I know that I can divide 10 and 5 both by 5. So 5 becomes a 1 and the 10 becomes a 2. And 9 and 6, I know I can divide both of those by 3. So the 9 becomes, three, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I end up with 2 thirds times 2 over 1. So let's multiply it out. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. And then you change that back into a mixed number, okay, which would be 1 and 1 third. Okay. All right, so here we have a division problem. 5 6 divided by 5 halves. So, uh, first I need to change this into a multiplication problem because I can't divide these numbers. So the 5, 6 stays the same. The, multi the division becomes a multiplication. And the 5 halves becomes a 2 fifths. Okay. So now I can work on reducing. So the 5's reduce. They both become 1's. Okay. And then I can reduce the 2 and the 6. The 2 becomes a 1. Okay, because 6, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I end up with 1 third times by 1, which is equal to 1 third. Now this is especially helpful when we get into, the, into much bigger numbers to reduce first, because it's a lot easier to do it first than to do it second. And that's all. Good luck with your homework.